Hey guys, it's Kristen and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about how I haven't uploaded a video for the 21st week. Um, so anyway, today we're going to recap week 21 and week 22. I had gotten behind on uploading videos so I was just kind of waiting for a week that I could just combine two together so we could be caught up to date. And I definitely don't want to be like in the hospital having my baby and like still uploading like my 36 week video, okay? So we're caught up now. So we're gonna, today we're gonna recap week 21 and week 22 because today I'm officially 23 weeks pregnant. So yeah, I'm just super excited. I feel like these two weeks have been really, really, really similar. Um, the morning sickness is gone, thank God. I think it was just, I don't know what it was, but I haven't really been experiencing the morning sickness lately, so I'm really grateful for that. Um, my heartburn is ridiculous. I am so uncomfortable. I am just like, so uncomfortable. I can't even tell you, like some, some nights it's like, so I'm really, really, really dehydrated and I drink a ton, a ton of water. Um, I have cut out my caffeine to where I'm only drinking um, like a cup of coffee in the morning and then I don't drink any other caffeine unless it's like two, three o'clock in the afternoon and if I think I'm about to fall asleep, like can't hold my eyes open, I will drink like a small Coke. Um, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, that's all the only caffeine that I'm having because I found that kind of the more caffeine that I was drinking, the more dehydrated that I was getting. So I cut that out. Um, and so now I'm drinking just a ton of water and I'm finding that even late at night, like the water is actually giving me heartburn, um, which I've experienced before and you know, whatever. Um, but I have experienced it before and it's okay. But um, so I am taking my Tums and my uh, Zantac. Yes, the Tums smoothies and the Zantac. Um, I've also been having really, really, really bad restless legs. Um, I'm looking into actually like buying compression socks because um, I have just been, I have been having such a hard time with them. Like it's to the point where they're like keeping me up at night and I'm just really uncomfortable. I constantly want to like jerk my legs all over the bed like my poor husband like I'm like kicking the crap out of him um, I just have to move them like constantly um, I'm glad that it's not like my whole body like I've mentioned before like my sister had her arms and her legs going and I just couldn't imagine flopping around like a dead or like a fish out of water um, obviously a dead fish wouldn't flop but you know what I mean fish out of water I just can't imagine doing that so um, I'm grateful that it's not or that it's only my legs, but at the same time, it still prevents me from getting any sleep at night. So, um, another thing. So last night, I started having Braxton Hicks contractions quite regularly. I started them at 12 weeks when I was pregnant with Declan. So I was always, I've been expecting them from the very beginning since these pregnancies are so close together. I've just kind of assumed that I would get them just as early. Um, I've just recently started getting them in the past couple of weeks. Um, but it seems like last night actually, so the last night of my 22nd week, um, I had been cramping all day long. And like, yes, they, the doctor did tell me when I went to the doctor last week that um, everything is normal, everything is fine, um, that I'm going to, with my ultrasound scans, by the way, so that's what I meant. The ultrasound scans, everything was normal. Um, but that I was going to start to feel like cramping and stuff like that. More so right around this time frame than because the baby is growing a lot. So I have been experiencing the cramping, but I cramped pretty much all day yesterday. And then at nighttime, normally when I lay down and I'm resting, I don't have any Braxton Hicks contractions. And if I do, if I lay on my left side, they completely go away. Um, last night was not the case. It was just very bad. They were the worst Braxton Hicks contractions that I have ever felt. Um, I had them with both of my pregnancies. Um, the first one was very mild. Like I really didn't even know that I was having a Braxton Hicks contraction. This with the second pregnancy with Declan, I knew I was having it. I could feel it. I could see it with this one. At one point I just started thinking like, am I sure that this is really a Braxton Hicks contraction? Because when I was pregnant with Declan, when I went into labor, I, I still believed that they were Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, I had just been having them for so long that as they started getting, you know, stronger towards the end of my pregnancy, when I actually went into labor, my husband was like, those contractions are timeable. And I'm like, are they? Like, I'm not paying any attention. Um, <laughs> second time mom, you know. Third time mom was like, I'm going to be having my baby on my couch or something. I don't know. No, God forbid. No, don't even say that because I need the drugs. 
this mama needs the drugs, people. So anyway, that was what was happening last night. It was just kind of getting to the point where it was just very uncomfortable. Um, but that it could have had something to do with the fact that yesterday, for whatever reason, like I was just so, I was doing so much stuff yesterday evening that I really did not drink a lot of water. And I know that um, if you don't drink a lot and you're dehydrated, you can get the Braxton Hicks contraction. So I'm gonna say that that was why they were so bad yesterday because overall I drink a ton of water, but yesterday for whatever reason, like I definitely had a bottle of water sitting next to me that I did not finish. And um, so I'm gonna say that that was it. Okay, so last week I went to the doctor and I went the day before I turned 22 weeks. So I was 21 weeks and six days and the doctor um, it said, you know, oh, everything's fine. They talked to me about a couple of different things, you know, told me about the cramping, told me about the baby growing and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, well they measured my fundal height, which is basically they feel the bottom of your uterus to the top of your uterus and they check the fundus length of the baby um anyway she's i was like so am i measuring on track and she was like yeah you're right at 26 weeks and i was like hold the phone lady because what do i have in there like do i have a baby with like a ginormous head what is going on why am i measuring 26 weeks like and then she's like um well somebody wrote down here that you are 26 weeks as well and i'm like no i mean literally like to the point where i had to pull out my what to expect app because she almost convinced me that i was 26 weeks pregnant and I was like, literally like trying to think back, like what videos have, like literally I slept for four weeks, like what is happening? So anyway, basically um, somebody had screwed up the chart. Now when it came to the measurements, which should make us all very frightening, all, all very frightened, um, it scared the crap out of me. My husband's like, is that normal? And I'm like, not unless we have a baby with like a balloon head, like no, that, or like a ginormous baby, or maybe I have gestational diabetes, or I don't know. Um, needless to say, they checked the scans and everything was normal. The baby is not abnormally sized. It does not have a balloon head. Nothing is wrong with the baby. The baby is just a normal, a normal baby. And, um, so yeah, the baby is fine. The baby is just a baby. And what is going on is the placement of my placenta. The placenta is directly on top of the baby. So when she went to feel, she felt the placenta on the top and measured me a couple weeks ahead. When she finally got in between and felt, okay, well wait, let me see here. And she could feel between the two, I was on track at 22 weeks. So we were fine. Um, scared the crap out of me because, you know, nobody wants to have a baby with a really big head. Nobody does. Um, and like their head can get as big as it wants to get on the outside, but while it's on the inside, I'd like to have a baby with a really small, round, normal sized head. Both of my boys were both 7'11". Um, they were both the exact same weight. Um, Declan was, um, an inch and a half longer than Daxon. But um, for the most part, they were like dead on with head measurements and everything like that. So I'm kind of hoping this baby's gonna be the same way, even though they're like, well, you should expect a, like a nine pound baby this time. I'm like, baby, you need to calm down because they told me that Declan was gonna be like nine pounds and had me scared to death. Um, and he was 7'11", just like Daxton was. So anyway, so that's pretty much all that's been going on this week. I will go ahead and show you my belly. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you guys my belly. I am 23 weeks today. So this is my belly at 23 weeks. So as you can see, I have really, really grown over the last two weeks. Um, I just feel, I, I don't feel like, I mean, yeah, I do feel big, but I don't feel like uncomfortably big. Um, I just, don't feel uncomfortably big um I, not yet like it's gotten to the point where yeah i am kind of waddling around like my husband laughs at me because i'm already waddling but um that's pretty much because of my sciatic nerve it hurts so bad that i end up like waddling from side to side to kind of relieve a little bit of the pressure which actually is super duper funny but um but yeah that is it so i I guess I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the sex of the baby. Um, I don't have all of my stuff picked up for the picked out for my gender reveal giveaway, but it is. I will do a separate video on that, so make sure that you're looking for that as well. But me and my husband and Daxton and Declan, we kind of all found out together. My husband already knew, but I found out at home a couple of days later. Um, 
and I wanted to find out with my son. The cake was a disaster. The woman had like done something anyway. She couldn't make my cake for me. I tried to find like five other people to make the cake. They couldn't make it either. And it was just a nightmare and I just ended up opening the envelope. So everybody, we are having another boy. <laughs> I know me and everybody else thought it was gonna be a girl. I'm carrying funny. Um, I'm, I'm getting big in the back this time and I don't know, it's just really strange, but it could be that the fact that the pregnancies are so close together, but we are having another little boy. Uh, we are looking at more D names, so if you guys have any D name recommendations, please leave them below because we are really at a loss this time. And yeah, so anyway, I hope that you guys um, are happy to know because I know a lot of you guys have been asking. So that is it. It is a little boy. Um, maybe God just figured that I didn't know how to fix little girl's hair, so all I could do were mohawks. So <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.